said in the music years ago that I see come past today. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and I and I'm a firm believer of speaking things into existence. Same you know, here, I'm brother. A firm believer of, you know, uh, you work and the universe gives back to you. I'm a firm believer in that stuff. You feel me? In the law of attraction, of course, and God as well. But I'm a firm believer in the law of attraction. Someone once said that being a rapper is an extreme sport, and we're tempted to agree, seeing how a lot of them have been victims of avoidable deaths in the last decade. We have lost so many of them who were killed for things as minor as a war of words or just to establish dominance as gang members. In today's video, we'll be talking about some of these men who killed rappers in these tragic events. From killers of Nipsey Hussle to Pop Smoke and other fan-favorite rap artists, here are the top ones on our list. Before we dive in, make sure to give us a like on this video, and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 8. XXX Tentacion When everyone woke up to the news of the death of XXX Tentacion in June 2018, there was enough shock to go round. It hit the community big time as no one saw this coming, and he was one of the best rappers in recent times. And yes, no one saw it coming because he was killed by Dedrick Williams and Robert Allen. One thing that was worse than listening to the news about it was watching the horror show live through the surveillance footage. This video, which is spread quite far, showed how these two men carried out the murder on June 18th, 2018. The young rapper had first gone to the bank to withdraw some money. The aim was to check out some vehicles at Riva Motorsports in Florida. But as he was leaving, an SUV trailed him and followed all the way to the shop. These men in the vehicle even got out to buy a couple of things in the shop, like regular customers. As soon as Tentacion got back into his car, the SUV effectively blocked him from moving out. While two other men, Trayvon Newsom and Michael Boatwright, got out of the vehicle, XXX Tentacion was left to struggle with these men. Finally, they shot him multiple times in the neck, made away with a bag full of money, and quickly fled the scene. Sadly, the shots were fatal enough to kill the fast-rising rapper. Eventually, these men were caught and charged with first-degree murder and robbery with a deadly weapon. Number 7. Nipsey Hussle Another victim of gun violence that shook the entire rap community, Nipsey Hussle, was one rapper who was loved by millions of people. He had a thriving fan base and hits after hits. Sadly, he didn't make it past March 31, 2019, which started like any other day. He was signing autographs and happily taking photos with tons of fans outside the Hyde Park strip mall. This is the same area where he owned a couple of businesses, including a marathon clothing store that saw a lot of foot traffic. He had only spent less than an hour there when Eric Holder came in with a few others. There was no altercation at first as the men shook hands and held a brief conversation. This took a turn for the worst when Hustle told Eric Holder that word going around the street said that Holder was a snitch. While no one loves being called a snitch, Holder took it a little too seriously. He left in the car and came back with a gun in each hand. Without thinking twice, Eric Holder shot Nipsey Hussle more than 10 times. Like this wasn't enough already, he kicked the bleeding rapper in the head before running off. There was a really slim chance that Nipsey would survive that, and he didn't. He was declared dead at the hospital while Eric pleaded not guilty to two counts of attempted murder, one count of murder, and two counts of assault with a firearm. Number 6. Ray Gouda Like in Nipsey Hussle's case, this also started with an argument, this time inside a corner store. We really need to know what's up with people and their fragile egos that think a gun solves everything, even minor arguments. Ray Gutta was shot by 27-year-old Devante Xavier Johnson, who turned himself in for killing the rapper on July 26, 2020. Ray Gouda, whose name was Ramon Guter, was shot in the groin at the store on West North Street in Canton, Mississippi. Ray Gouda was quickly rushed to University Mississippi Medical Center, but he didn't make it past the next day. Funny enough, no one really knows what the argument was all about. Still, we lost an excellent rapper for that one. Number 5. King Von 26-year-old King Von was caught in the middle of a gunfight outside Monica Hookah Lounge in Atlanta. He and a group of men got into an argument with another group, which turned into an all-out brawl. Unfortunately, what started that night as a celebration of Boss Top's birthday ended with blood and tears after King Von started jumping Quando Rondo. Then, Timothy Leakes, a friend of Rondo's, got out his gun and shot at King Von. According to surveillance footage outside the club, the men drove away in a white vehicle while a black one quickly drove over to get King Vong to the hospital, where he was declared dead. Timothy Leakes may claim that it was done in self-defense, but he did kill a rapper. Number 4. Kent Won't Stop If the other stories haven't made you super sad by now, 
then this one definitely will. It's a classic backstabbing case where a trusted friend becomes an enemy. This is what happened to rapper Kent Won't Stop, and his friend Robert Avery Coltrane is sitting right at the center of this tragedy. On October 17, 2020, the rapper was reported missing by family and friends. His longtime friend had come over to the house like any other day. He met Kent Won't Stop's father, and the men told him that they would be driving out. The father didn't see anything to it and never realized that it would be the last time he would see his son alive. A few days after reporting him missing, the rapper was found dead in the trunk of his longtime friend's car. And get this, he was already decomposing, with multiple gunshot wounds showing that it was a murder. It may not have been discovered if Robert hadn't gotten caught in a car crash in South Florida that caught the attention of the police. They noticed the foul stench coming from the trunk even while it was raining heavily. Robert was taken in as soon as the police figured out what was going on. Number 3. YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser YNW is a rap group run by YNW Melly, who was charged for the deaths of rappers YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser. The real name, Jamel Demons, this rapper had taken to social media to mourn the deaths of Anthony Williams and Christopher Thomas Jr., real names of the YNW members who had been killed in a drive-by shooting in 2018. Later, the police announced that it had been no drive-by shooting, but all staged by none other than YNW Melly. Melly is no stranger to jail times and crimes, as he has had a run-in with the law multiple times. The police claimed that he drove around with the two victims for a while before heading to the hospital to claim that they had been involved in a drive-by shooting. Considering how Melly had come off as broken by their deaths, even talking about it on stage during a performance, this is lower than an oil well. He is facing two counts of first-degree murder. Number 2. Pop Smoke Pop Smoke's tragic death started with a terrible mistake. The rapper accidentally leaked his home address on Instagram. When a group of young 83 Hoover criminal members from the South Central saw that the rapper was in Hollywood Hills, Los Angeles, they invaded his rental home. These gang members even had two minors involved, including one known as Tiny. Others were Keandre Rogers, Corey Walker, and Jaquan. 20-year-old Pop Smoke died in February 2020 from the fatal wound sustained through multiple gunshots from these men. He was a member of Republic Records' label and doing quite well for himself before these men killed him. Number 1. Mac Miller Some would argue that Mac Miller was killed by two people, himself and Cameron James Petit, while others insist that the burden should be on the one who set him up to his death. However, the fact is here that Cameron James Petit had his name written in permanent ink in the list of men who killed rappers. He sold lace drugs to Mac Miller in September 2018, two days before Mac died of an overdose. Mac Miller had requested a painkiller, Oxidone, but Petit gave him a counterfeit version laced with fentanyl. It was a combination of alcohol, cocaine, and fentanyl that led to his tragic death. Although Mac had a history of drug abuse, and it was public knowledge that he was trying to give it up, his close associates claimed that he was winning the battle and only slipped up once in a while. Sadly, he did lose the battle. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Which of these deaths did you find the most painful to endure? Were any of these your favorite artists? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.